Guys, it is episode five and it's getting exciting. Hope you guys will enjoy today's episode of this one. And uh, I hope you love this series because I absolutely adore it. It is the best content ever. This is what we do on our Patreon. So hope you guys are already there checking out today's stuff. Hoppa guys, I'm Ed and this is my YouTube channel. I've been clashing since 2012, so that's a long time. And now I'm doing content on YouTube with my base builder, Rock. Rock, say something. What's up, everyone? This is Rock the Builder, and you're clashing with Ed. Yeah! What's going on, everyone? And welcome back to video number four. We are on day seven and eight for our defenses. As you can see, we have two days left in the season, so it's going to be exactly 10 days for our uh, base project to see how we did. And um, yeah, let's just get into it. So today we are looking at two different days with two different bases well the same base but we did some tweaks right so this is day number seven so this was yesterday um not bad you know 80 percent a low percent at the end we did get tripled once and that kind of triggered the the whole change for the base well uh, which i will show shortly um we didn't get attacked eight times which was great because otherwise we would have went negative as you can see my attacks weren't super amazing yesterday but that's pretty much regular at this point so um yeah we will be taking a look at this triple and then we will check what we did with the base um and after we do that we will check out today's defenses to see if the changes worked at all so um let's just go down here and find the triple by sumesh so we're gonna just kind of go over this quickly so this is um the exact entry that we were talking about in the previous three videos two at least um which is basically landing right here right so we trapped that but we didn't have any giant bombs so um with the wall breakers the super wizards this is actually a blizzard um got pretty pretty good value town hall down monolith down cc pulled um and quite a nice funnel so um just pulling the CC to the corner, doing a quick CC kill, poison to speed it up, and um, then we enter. So this is just a beautiful attack. So uh, Sumesh, um, really, really nice attack. Very well planned, well thought out, especially in the short time that you get. So um, split heroes, funneling with the king for the queen, also tanking, um, taking out the archer queen, and those wall breakers were absolutely beautiful freezing on the rage so um it activates later so the queen gets a little bit more value rc delayed and the rc is actually pretty crucial here um loons in beautiful ability taking out the defending rc as you can see the attacking rc stays up does a freeze in the core and just grabs that inferno um just beautiful really the hound pops another freeze Plenty of loons left, plenty of time. Um, yeah, really, really good attack. Can't be too mad at that. But um, as you saw, same problem as before, right? So if we just go out of this, so um, this was pre-tweaks. So this is the base that most of you were using. Um, well, the ones that were uh, doing this with us anyway. And this is after the tweaks, right? So um, what we did was not too much so one thing that maybe not many will notice i switched the rage and poison towers um and i also switched the x-bows with the mortars right so this was for the entry that um they used kind of the flame flinger to to take out the the eagle and basically this entire area which was quite a problem so hopefully that helps with that entry um poison deeper so blimps in the in the core are just gonna be very very hard and uh, the rage still covers right pretty much almost exactly the same as before it just misses that core in for inferno but we have that trapped so um it should be still very very effective and the other change is uh, there we go um we actually did trap both of these corners for the for the blizzard or the super blimp entry right so this was basically the biggest problem we had and um yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be really really hard for for pretty much any blimp and um that's it really because the rest of the base seems to be doing well and um so today that was day eight we 
had our tweaked base activated. As you can see, defenses, we still lost a few more trophies than we did yesterday, but that could probably be because we were a little higher up. So we were sitting, um, as you can see, just below 5, 6, 50. And um, yeah, no, just the attackers, like the higher you get, the better the attacks are. And we will be checking that out shortly. So um, one one star, no triples, right? So I actually looked at all of these raids and not a single one was a blimp with the, either a blizzard or a super archer clone, um, which kind of sucks because that's what I was most interested in. Um, but we will be actually taking a look at that top raid um, with the, I think those are Korean letters. Hopefully I'm not mistaken. Um, the one star was actually super bowlers, which is not super common at this trophy range. Um, so we're not going to take a look at that, but it was pretty much a side entry and um, the troops kind of passed away from the town hall and yeah, uh, healers get fried and it's, it's just a nightmare. That's kind of why I stopped using them. Um, but uh, yeah, so the 98 was, well, this one, the, the, the mighty Muhammad, 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 whatever. Um, also a different attack. So this is the problem, right? We trapped the the corner for the entries we got so far, but you know the higher up you go, the the trickier these attacks get to defend because the attackers are just like getting better and better. And um, you will see why in just a second. So similar blimp, but he goes a little higher up, so he doesn't go from the side, um, misses the the bombs actually. I mean the seeking air mines and lands inside which is where we had the bombs before, but we don't have them anymore. So um, he kind of avoided those bombs. Um, just really, really good placement. Like, you know, again, can't be mad at those. And uh, grabs again the town hall, the monolith, the CC, um, that entire corner, and that's about it. So he got pretty much the same value as the raid we just saw earlier, except he used all of his, all except one of his spells. Um, here is the different part. So, like, again, the rates get better and better the higher up you get. And this is just, you know, um, more proof of that. So, um, heroes from the top, I guess, towards the top. And then the dragons down the other side and let them just funnel themselves, basically, like, two towards the outside. And then the, the, the main army goes through the middle. And um, beautiful raid. Again, it's, you know... Hard to complain too much, like nobody wants to get tripled, but you know, these guys really, really know what they're doing. So, yeah, um, good ability, saving that freeze. Hero, again, getting pretty, pretty good value. That's the problem with, with the blimp, because it um, kind of gets the, the CC2, and then the heroes just get tremendous value, right? And, um, yeah, so basically this core... Um, multi this is the problem for this raid so as you will see soon and the 98 was not actually a time fail it was a, a fail fail if you want to call it that um and this is the exact reason why so two buildings left and you will see very shortly which two building those are so um a little bit of luck maybe on our side maybe a little bit of luck for the attacker that he got this far but um regardless great raid base held just till the end and um, we got the defense so that's eight less trophies lost than if he would have gotten triple so not too bad but again um goal is always um lower lower percent at least if not you know that that golden one star so um yeah that will be it for today two more days and after that we will do kind of like an ending video just to you know go through the season season um see how it went and you know maybe talk a little bit about the base and see what we want to do in the future so again hopefully you guys are enjoying this series i know i am making i am just having so much fun making it and um yeah thank you for being here with us and we will see you next time cheers